I know that you know a lot of women. Yes. And what have you heard from a lot of women? They are not having orgasms. Okay. Oh. You may think that you doing the best of the best in the bed, brothers. <laughs> they Listen, you in there, she just acting like she climbing up the wall. Ah, just screaming all crazy. and, all, and Listen, put the kid to the kids to sleep. I'm so sorry, y'all. Y'all got your kids. <laughs> this is not the part for them because it's about to get real raw. I put myself out there, babe. You ready to talk about this? I'm so scared. <laughs> this is an Iwebu production. Period. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. What's up, y'all? My name is TK. And my name is Namdi. And, and you, you are, are pillow, pillow talking, talking with, with the Iwavus. E e yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. We're super excited that you guys decided yes. to come back. Listen, here, what do we do? Let them know who we yes. is, so, what it is. So we motivate the common couple to become extraordinary. And we yes. help singles receive God's best in relationships, man. Mm -hmm. So, man, if you're in a relationship, you married or you but on your way to being married or you in a, a very um, a committed relationship that yes. you're in the right place. Yes. Or if you're a single man and you just like, man, I want somebody. Mm -hmm. I want God's best. Come on. You're in the right place, man. We're going to talk that talk today. You're going to yes. get it right here. Yes. Pillow talking with the way. Pillow members. talking. So listen, if that sounds like something that you are interested in, go ahead and subscribe. Get locked in. Yes. You're going to like the content. We need you to hit that notification bell Please. so you can be notified every single time we drop these gems as well as comment. Just keep this in the algorithm. We yeah. have enough of filth and darkness and sadness and depression on our timelines and depression in the algorithm. Algorithm. We want you guys to partner with us as we try our best to put kingdom on Instagram. Keep it on top. Twitter, TikTok, yeah. all, all the things. So we we so totally appreciate that. And if you are our family, welcome back. We appreciate y'all so man. much. We Listen, do. we um we've been working really hard. Been working, um, man. Working, man. I feel like I haven't talked to anyone. I've been deep. Dive. Oh, oh my let's, goodness. Let's, 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 hold on, hold on. We can't, we can't just <laughs> act like we haven't been really out here working. First off, yeah. no, let me let me set this up right. <laughs> my beautiful wife, okay, my queen, has come out with her first ebook, y'all. Yes, yes. Come on, she's an author out here in these streets. You know, you, you know. know. Like, and I'm listen. I'm just gonna tell you, I am so proud of you, babe. Thank you, baby. I'm just like. First off, let me tell y'all, this isn't her first book, to be honest with you. Yes, okay. Right. Uh, because she she listens to to God and what Thank he's God. telling her to do. <laughs> she had a book before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> had the title. I mean, I still remember the name of it, everything. Yeah. And God told you to scrap it. He did. And she and she threw it away. I did. And so with this one, yes. God led you to do it. Like what what led you to let's just talk about that. What mm -hmm. led you to, to do this book, babe? Yeah, um, God has just almost every week been giving me a word, I, first and foremost for myself, and then mm -hmm. I'll end up sharing revelations and like women are like, oh my gosh, me too. Like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. I feel that. Um, the first week I got abide, the second week abide, the second week I got um, nurture, and the, mm -hmm. this current week I have daughter. And so almost every week, the Lord has been giving me uh, words for myself, but again, um, to feed his His daughters. And it was a moment where I was just in prayer and, and or no, I actually, was I in prayer? I don't know. I've been talking to God so much all day, literally. Yeah. And he was like, I need you to, I need you to nurture your baby. And my baby is my ministry and my mm. ministry is women. And so this is just one way to feed them this in myself, first and foremost. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, um, I easily, I mean, the, it, the way that I've been writing books have just, it's been nothing but the Holy Spirit. I cannot say yeah. it's been me being deeply creative or like phenomenal. Like it, the the flow has been from the heavens. And so, yes, yeah. I dropped my first ebook. It is titled Unleashing Your Inner Strength. It is a woman's guide to setting and enforcing boundaries. It is a book for women that feel like they are called. There is a purpose for them. Um, there is a seed on the inside, but a lot of us, mm. the seed die. The seed ends up dying because we're in bad environments and wow. we're in bad environments wow. because we have not implemented boundaries and we haven't enforced those boundaries. And so that's kind of what we've been 
been talking about just nurturing, pouring into ourselves, setting correct boundaries and being bold, like being yeah. bold about it, saying no. And that be it. End mm -hmm. all. Right. You know? So, yeah. Right. Uh, the link will be in the description. <laughs> yes, it'll be in the description. You'll, free. you'll see it right here on free. your screen right now. Free, too. free, 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 free. So if free. you are a woman watching this and you want to be a part of a community, that's also what happens when you get this free book. Um, you are connected to my community and we're building. We're building, man. God has been good. But speaking of God being good, our um, clip, the Lord told me on Saturday, last Saturday, to... He told me a minute ago I was disobedient, but then he mm -hmm. reminded me again to build a prayer closet. Yeah. Sunday, our pastor spoke on it. Nami yes. looked at me and was like, go do it. So I That's ended up good. going to Ross and Target. We um, built our prayer closet in our master um, bedroom. Mm -hmm. And I was like, let's record it. Let's just record yeah. it. Recorded it. It went by. It is going yeah, crazy. It's close to almost a million a views million, right now. Yes, at seven hundred thousand, yeah. and that's just on Instagram. We don't know what's happening on TikTok because they yeah. say it goes everywhere. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just it's really dope. It. I mean, it just feels good to do this with you first and foremost. But like, yeah. to for a for a for a video to go viral for not kid, you know, kids aren't dancing. And I'm not saying nothing's wrong with yeah. that, but you know, it's like we were we built a pair of closet and people are like. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I've been feeling this too. I need to get to it. Yeah. Or, oh my gosh, I have a prayer closet. I ain't been in it. Let me yeah. get back in it. So, man, God has just been moving yeah. for real. Yeah, no, and I, I encourage you guys to to go out there, um, look at the at the clip or the the reel that we made. Yes, and get a prayer closet. I'm yeah. telling you, it's been. I feel like my prayers have has elevated big time. Yeah, for sure. Since since you made the prayer closet, yes. I love it. Just a sacred place, yes. no distractions. Yes, uh, the kids don't bust in on nope. you when you're in the prayer closet. Yeah, a lot real. of times, we'll let each other know, like, "Hey, we going to the prayer closet." Well, even we'll if the door is closed, we know what's going on. Yeah, because that, that door used to never be closed. Mm -mm, it's always open. Yeah. So if the door is closed, it's like, all right, they're praying. So boom, yeah, yeah it's. Man, God's been good. But yes. yeah, so back to the first thing. Y'all get the ebook, but follow us on Instagram. Like Please. we 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 don't want y'all to be like, what are y'all talking about? Like we need y'all yeah. to know what's going on um on all platforms. Cause every all we don't platforms. we're we're getting better at getting everything everywhere, but it's we're not quite there yet. It's just two yeah. people doing everything right now. Yeah. So it's, it's just all us right now, man. Y'all yes. keep us as y'all go into y'all prayer closets. Pray for us that we'll get large enough that we can even afford to have a team My that will then help us hey. out. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 so no, much. Shit, I will, I will let y'all know. A lot of times I'm doing some, you know, working nine to five working. Yeah. My wife is doing all everything that you see. Pretty much a lot of the clipping and all that's her. Yeah. The podcast. Thank God we we were able to bring somebody on the team as far as doing the podcast yes, part. Shout out to God. to Lamar, uh, yes. DJ B4EY. We thank Man. him for what he does. Oh, I don't like saying names because I don't want nobody grabbing them then he'd be too busy uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I'm cutting well, it out. we want him we want god to enlarge his territory <laughs> i mean too. yeah so yeah. just as long as he don't put us on the back burner but that's that's our yeah. god that's our bro yeah i'm so grateful for him so yes yeah god. check check out everything yes, that we're doing we work hard into yes, it let's yes, get into yes, this episode yes. it is action-packed so absolutely here recently i was uh, scrolling around on YouTube and I came up on uh, a podcast YouTube and they were talking about just black women and mm, them being Jesus. led astray. It was a pretty interesting conversation, hmm. but I want to bring you guys in on it. Check this clip out right here. Across the board, black women are the lowest um, in terms of dating and marrying. In fact, actually, black women are high in dating because we give up sex the most. We're for the streets. We're twerking. We're doing all types. We're doing the most. We dominate rap in the culture that is very sexual, especially in the U.S. So a lot of men see us as easy targets to, you know, to have sex with. And we, we have the highest rate of um, having children outside of uh, marriage, wedlock. And so men see us as bedwinches, easy to, to have sex with, but they don't see us as valuable wives. Our culture, especially in the U.S., I don't know how it is in the U.K. I know it's a little different, but we, we our family structure is so broken and so uh, destroyed that we we really the majority of black women in the U.S. Um, we've been put into a position of just being, you know, sexual uh, just for a man's sexual pleasure. But if they're going to take a woman serious, that's why you see a lot of black men when they become successful. They're not marrying us. I mean, it, it, they do. OK, let me say this. Eighty percent of black men are marrying black women, even when they're successful. But there is a huge thing where a lot of black men are going to other races. Why? And a lot of women don't understand. They say the man is racist. No, the culture that that woman may have been brought up in her submissiveness you know, in our, our culture, we're being rebellious, you know, dressing provocative. It's standard. It is standard. We hate ourselves a lot. We hate our own hair. 
um, we we want our our butts to be the fast the fattest. We we pride ourselves on things of being bosses, having the fattest booty, you know, being able to twerk the best, but not intrinsic values. That is a wife. Um, and to speak to Maggie, like we talk about like like colorism in our culture, um, because I, I think race is not just race, but it's colorism within our own culture where they prefer light skin. They prefer this, that and the other. I tell you on God, an attitude like Maggie, a lot of men, like regardless of anything, like, you know, to me, there's such a peace and an aura about her that a lot of women can learn from of every race. But particularly in the black community, we don't that's not standard model like who she is. Like if you come around, Maggie, you just feel loved on. You feel like home. And so I think a lot of black women can, can retain that. But if we're talking about race, we're talking about black women. Let's just be honest about it. We're, we're talking about black women, not, we have the lowest marriage rates. We have the highest birth rates outside of marriage. Why is that? We have the highest number of abortions and our behavior and the culture we promote. If you look around the world, look at our rappers, look at the culture. Most men see us as sexual tools. Wow. Uh, I'm I'm blown away by that. And just to shout out the, the actual podcast is King Rich's podcast. I believe it's out the UK. Uh, I think he's a red pill guy. But you said shout out to him. That was that's that's the podcast. I want to make sure they know where oh, it okay. comes from. It comes from King Rich's podcast, mm-hmm. uh, and that is Melanie King that we heard speak there. She's a very prominent name, and I guess what they call the red pill community. Red pill community. They they're based off the Matrix. Is basically saying they're the reality pill when it comes to relationships. So they they spit it how they they feel like they spit it how it truly is. Mm-hmm. I don't agree with all their views. And she's red pill. She's the yeah. She's okay. very not well known actually. From what I've heard, allegedly she is a protege of Kevin Samuels, and we know how oh. hard Kevin Samuels goes. So if, yeah. if you heard that clip, and you like, oh gosh, Lee, she didn't have to just you just think about it. Kevin Samuels held no punches. There. You think people gonna feel like that was harsh what she said? I believe that some would. She oh, she wow. kind of talked really bad about black. But so uh, well, I guess I would ask I'm, you. I'm built different. I guess I would ask you, babe. <laughs> are many modern day black women are they led astray, like what she's saying? Wow. So the simple fact that this is, I guess, um, controversial is actually quite bizarre to me. So that's also how I know my my thinking might be (laughs) set up a little different. I was actually telling a friend one time about the Red Pill community that I just found out. Um, And remember, I'll tell you, I'm like, should I be seeing some clips? I'm like, I mean, they are saying the truth about like, yeah, when you got 7,000 bodies, you might not get, you might not be the first pick to get yeah. married. You know, so I know, but I know for some women, I'm also a very different, well, Namdi tells me that I'm a different type of woman You're that a different breed, babe. I, I, I can receive something like that and be like, yeah, that, I mean, ah, you know, yeah, that's yeah. kind of true. I mean, what, I'm sorry. What's your question though? I said, are, are, are modern day black women, are they led astray? Yeah, I mean, I think it's so... It's about his culture. Yes. I think it's... And the thing is, it's literally not our fault. Yeah. Like, it's literally not our fault from... I mean, I, I don't even want to go so far back into, like, slavery and, mm-hmm. and then just, just the black woman and how unimportant, unprotected, misled, mis unguided, like, no direction, the... The what was the era where the men were all t- and crack took everybody yeah. out and like mm-hmm. I mean it's literally not our fault so we've because of society culture racism neglect injustice I mean just so many different layers women have been forced to a either be masculine or just be, because they're not guided or led or there's no there's no examples of of a structured black family yeah, yeah. they follow hip-hop and hip-hop yes. tells us to be naked to give it up to if you want to go somewhere this is what it looks like to be successful and i'm just so saddened um just to tap on the part where she talked about um we're giving up sex the most uh, a few reasons i blame that on is the porn industry and hip-hop if you have if you are making it popular to be a woman who's naked in the video scenes and always around the rappers and getting flued out and getting the hotels with that. You ain't going to have a sugar daddy without giving up sugar. You're not going to have this type of lifestyle supplied by men without the exchange of intimacy. But the, the, again, this might sound normal to a woman that has been brought up decently. Like, of course, like, but you got to think about women who only had a mother around, 
right? No father in the household. So her Mm -hmm. mother was working. So she really didn't guide her. She protected her and she, she provided for her, but she didn't set her down and say, this is how you dress when you get around men. I remember when I was being brought up, my, my, my mom, my dad always like, Hey, be my, when men come around, you don't Mm -hmm. just bend over in the middle of the living room and Mm -hmm. do the splits. And, and, you know, even as a kid, like be mindful, everybody's not taught that and common sense isn't common sense. So again, I don't blame the women, but, it's it's our culture that we're in. It's it's a sad part um, of just the direction of marriage, identity, of femininity, women. Like it's just all around being broken down. And so I feel like the only reason why I might not connect with this young lady a little bit because I do feel like she might have a little bit of judgmentalness, <laughs> you know, a little, little sprinkle of judgment in there, but. Um, I get it. I understand it. If you are not guided, if you do not have a mother or a father that is telling you what to do, um, and then, or you're just, I don't, you don't want to say it like this, but just, you know, maybe don't have the strongest mind and not a, a leader. You will follow the ways of the world. Yeah, it, yeah. it seems easier. It seems fun. Like being, being modest in yeah. this day's age. Like I tell you all the time, I'm like, baby, trying to find a modest dress, yeah. modest tops, mod, like I, most time I have to shop thrift or, or do something vintage because everything's so tight. Everything is so cut short, cut low. And so it's, it's not our faults. We have to work extra hard to mm-hmm. build ourselves up. But, um, I'm sorry. What's the question again? Yeah, no. Or you know, modern. Are we led astray? Yes. Led astray. <laughs> of course. Of course, yeah. we're led astray. Of course, the women that are on your timeline twerking. I mean, I'm. I don't yeah. know why this name comes to my mind, but even someone like Sierra who had a like modest kind of classiness way about her. I mean, all oh. I see is her booty now. Like, and so you see She's women. A married woman. Married woman and supposedly a Christian. Yeah. So, um, I mean, one of our sus- subscribers told us that. Yeah. And so, um, and, and speaking to that comment when someone was like, well, why are we talking about black women? Because again, it's the black women that they're putting on the forefront and the black women with the statistics of not being married and the black women having the most kids out of wedlock. So we have to yep. confront that. And then I just also have to say this, like the, the delusion that we, okay, let me bring it back. <laughs> Cause I'm trying to be nicer these days. <laughs> we can be delusional too. Like we can really think we can be out here bad. And then like when we turn 37, we want to like settle down <laughs> with a history of just no identity. Bad. Don't know yourself like, yeah. and, or just no ownership of why you are yeah. where you are. So, um, I, again, I don't blame it on the, the individual woman. I blame it on culture and I blame it on, um, just the black family structure. Yeah. I believe, yeah, I, I really just piggyback off of what you said. You said everything really perfectly. It, it comes down, for me, I always think back to the root. That's that's just the way I think. And yes. the root cause of this, we can go from slavery and then also to households being split up, fathers being put in jail uh, with the crack epidemic and the bills that were passed during that time. And then you started to see more and more single mothers. Uh, then you started to see more and more younger mothers so now you got babies raising babies and so sometimes it's half and half it's like some of it is is actually our fault you know the the, the lady's fault and then some of it is, is kind of like based off of just really how the system has set up some things culture. man yeah culture yeah. um and so when you only got moms there and you raised by mtv bet and all of that you start you grow up looking at that even as a man go ahead I, I, no i just want to say this i can't even think about how white families asians how marriage is a, a conversation yeah period yeah. black women are told to become nurses be independent and pay your own bills don't yeah. depend on no man. Independent. One Don't of the de- biggest songs was Boosie. I N D E P E. Yeah, like, like they're, they're, they thought that that's that's supposed to be dope. They're literally led to like be masculine. Mm-hmm. Like, t- don't you better not pay. And it's almost, it went from that to like, okay, if you do get some money from a man, like give, give up your sex. It's, it's empowering to be sexually yeah. liberated. And at least you get in a bag. I, like I can let city girls give. Yeah. That's everybody right yeah. now. City girls making the stallion. All every female, almost every female rapper. Like it's this whole thing of, so I just, I, when you said culture, it made yeah. me think about like how Asians and I mean, it's, you know, you're getting married. 
And even, I, okay, I'm sorry, this is my last thing. No, no, Remember the other day, um, I don't know what I had on, and you was like, you need a cover up, or you said something like that. And, and you was like, that's that why. Big I old, that big old that trunk on you, B. Baby, <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> crazy. Man. Anyways. Well, I'll be blessed. I'll be seeing that trunk, but I'll be like, hey, you better put a hoodie over that mug, uh, the, the hoodie cross that mug over it. it I don't be thinking I'm supposed to put a hoodie across my waist hey, when you, with hey, a when cute you wear dainty sweats, dress. And they nah, I need a hoodie over that thing. Yeah, I'll be any okay. It's a distraction. Yeah, oh, <laughs> go ahead. So I had on this, I, I had on something, and he was like, "That's why them." I, you said somebody, some culture, um, have their head wraps and, and have, uh, and and have yeah. their, I don't know, have yeah, on like sometimes you know, the in whole the Indian things. culture, they, they yeah, have some of that going on. But it also it reminds me, and it connected me back to actually Christianity and yeah. modesty that women are supposed to walk in because yeah. it actually is a protective layer for us yeah. when you are out here bad. You, I, I talked about it actually on tapping with TK about how different type of men don't approach me anymore because I'm covered up. But when I had dude. things swinging and hanging, it's like, you, 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 you ever had a dude try to talk to you? Like, no, sir, I know you don't think you can talk to me. And it's like, <laughs> I know I can. Cause you out here clearly not loving yourself because you're showing everything. So I just had yeah. to point that out. Even culturally, um, women in different cultures are taught to cover up mm -hmm. and they're taught to prepare for marriage. Yeah, that's or not. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean they're taught that from from birth. And there there's know. you know most you know uh, white families they will see their mom and dad in the household from yes. the beginning and all those things. Yes. And so unfortunately that's why that's why you see us here. We're really big on preaching about hey how you're what you're doing in your single life, how you're dating and not having sex outside of marriage and all that because it just continues to have this cycle mm -hmm. and it's never going to get better with all these blended families. Listen, mm -hmm. we're people who have a blended family here and we've <sighs> had to deal with some of those consequences of it. Yes. I got a daughter, oldest daughter that's led astray right now. And again, it's because, you know, I ended up making a decision when I was really young and me and her mother are on two different wavelengths when it comes to mindset. And she adopted to the mother's uh, style as far as that goes again. Yeah. And so now we continue this cycle with the women. Like, you know, Ooh, I can wow. see it. And I can see how it's, yeah. it's happening. Now my daughter's deceived in some certain ways. And yeah. she may fit in some of the subjects that, that she's talking about. Or, or, you know, if she continues to do some of the things that she's doing as far as that goes. And so yeah. I, it, it's, it, it sucks that she's telling the truth. Yeah, she it is. sucks that she she really is telling the truth about all of this, and we just really need a lot of women. That's why I push I push a lot of women uh, towards you. Mm -hmm. I, I say, hey, check out some of these uh, Christian hip hop artists like yourself and Portia and yeah. Wande and all that because you you all, from what I've seen, have have um, held yourself up. In a, in a better way and have a higher standard than what we see in this hip hop culture. Let's make this clear. Hip hop is number one. It used to be pop, but the biggest influencer, the biggest, the most streams come from hip hop. Why are you talking about music? We talking about women being led astray. Where do you think that most of them get their influence from? It comes from what's going in the gate. We're going to say this all the time. What's going on in your ear gate? What's going on in your eye gate? Okay? A lot of times what we're seeing on TikToks and all this is people, uh, black women, dancing provocatively My to... God. You know, hip hop music Absolutely. that's saying some of the raunchiest things in it. They don't even okay? care what they're they dancing to. No, they don't care about none that of that. That song called, you remember Throat Baby? Throat I ain't Baby. never heard that. Oh my gosh. Lord, I ain't never heard that. Dang. They got a song called Throat Baby? Yeah. Dang. Well, uh, yeah. Dang. They, they got really, was, really vulgar now. And it was very popular. Wow. That's. Very. You know, I'm so glad you're disconnected. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm way disconnected. Man, listen, y'all, don't don't make me. Please listen, I ain't old, y'all. I just I don't keep that connected. Yeah. I may stay connected on a few shows. Well, you just don't have time. You're not. On your I don't phone. got time. No, none of yeah. that. But yeah, when we that's what we're seeing them doing, and these kids are growing up and seeing the same thing, and yeah. they believe that it's cute to have a baby mama, baby daddy. They talk about it like a surprise or something. Like yeah. it's. It's just crazy, and yes, we're led astray. Mm -hmm. All the other cultures, they haven't, a lot of them, I'm not saying and fully they do, right. and I'm not saying that all black women, Let's. No. we're not generalizing here, no, we're not we're saying not. that all black women are like this. We're just saying a good majority of, though, 
and you know, or, or led astray by what the culture is displaying out there. And so yeah. that's why we continue to say, hey, we want to push kingdom. Yes. We want we want you guys to go check out the TK Lees and say, hey, let your daughters listen to this. So our unfortunately our uh our black sisters will be continually be led astray. Yeah. And you know, until another example is pushed to the forefront. Yes. And that's why they continue to suppress like I listen and I'm sorry, I'm always on music. This is just my thing, this is just my lane. But they continue, I listen to this music and sometimes I'll run across what's the hottest song out there and I'm like I'm amazed. I'm amazed just in, and not just on the women forefront, but I'm amazed like why is like KB and Lecrae and all that like we we talk about I hear sometimes like brothers like Charlemagne and them talk about how as a culture we need to do this and that better, right? Mm -hmm. But they continue to push all these the the most terrible trash out there on the radio stations and think that it's going to get better. First of all, music has an agenda. Right. All the time. Yes. Whether the artist that is releasing it knows it or not. Right. And they don't even live their life. No. They don't even live. Half of them don't no, live the life that they they're don't. even talking they're in about. Beverly Hills. Like it's 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 like selling. <laughs> it's, it's just a new form of almost to me of selling crack. Mm, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Like you selling something to your people that you don't even do yourself. Absolutely. Like you selling that to them, and so that's why Absolutely. I say that's where I believe the culture is messed up. Is what we're a lot of times is coming from what we're listening to, yes. and what we're seeing, yes. And what we need to do is just replace that with the right things. Um, so therefore, we're not continuing this cycle, man. It hurts to say that what she's talking about on this clip. It's, we feel like, yeah. yeah it's pretty much 100% true. Yeah. You know, so what do you guys think? Do you believe that black women are led astray? Do you agree with what she's saying in this clip? We want to know below. Let us I was know. Here recently, uh, ran across another good clip of someone that I frequently watch, which is the lead attorney. <sighs> All right. The lead attorney, he could be put somewhat in the box of the red pill, uh, but yeah. I guess he doesn't. he doesn't claim it. Well, he was just talking about men and how we could be somewhat, you know, if a man could be somewhat agreeable and what men need to really ask themselves mm. before they jump into a marriage. Check out this clip. If you want to get married, let's say from a man's perspective, really from a woman, but women just always want to get married anyway, so I don't even consider them. If you're a man, this is something that men never, never ask themselves, ever. And it's the number one question. They never ask themselves. Am I fit for the institution of marriage? They never consider it. They ask themselves if they love the woman. They ask themselves if they've got enough money to support her. They ask themselves where they're going to live. What about the car, the apartment, the lease? They never ask themselves, what is a marriage really? And am I fit for it? It's the number one question. Some men are not fit. Sounding a little familiar to me. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds definitely. a little familiar. Um, babe, so I, I guess I'll I'll ask you and maybe I'll share something. I don't know. But <laughs> do you feel like men are asking themselves, like, am I fit for this? Do yeah. you feel like maybe they go in, like he said, just thinking about that thing, the body, the and they don't even consider if they actually going to be a good husband. Yeah. What do you think yeah. about that? So... Definitely hits home in a way. Mm. Uh, I will. I will tell you, and I'm, you know, here we gonna keep it a thousand here. Pillow talking yes, with the way booze. Like, listen, we 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 keep it real and raw. I talk a lot about non-negotiables and what I was looking for, mm. and my wife fit that perfectly. Uh, but what I did not really think about was what is it that uh, you know how much value am I gonna bring to her? Now I knew I was bringing some value, but I didn't know. You know, I didn't really think about some of the ways that I'm going to have to lay down my life for her in a way. How how much I'm going to have to compromise when it comes to it. So it caught me by surprise. Like, I was probably like two or three years, like probably a couple, but within year two one or, or two. so. Yeah, one, one or two or mm -hmm. so. I was going through, I'm happy, good, you know. But baby girl, let me know she wasn't happy in some areas. And I'm like, what are you what are you talking about? I'm, I'm like literally good. I'm on cloud nine. We good. I mean, food, she cooking it. You know, uh, the things, she's doing it. All that. It's, it's, let's just say everything's going good in my head. 
Mm. You understand? But she had to wake me up. Hey, I'm here. Mm. Like, I'm not just your, like, your object or just your <laughs> maid. Uh, there's some things you have to do to <laughs> make sure I'm good and I'm happy. Mm. And I wasn't doing all those things. Maybe, like, date nights mm. and um, maybe just not being the person who is taking initiative to show and water her love language, okay? Hers is acts of service. That's her, her biggest one is acts of service. So when I when I get in there and I clean up without her asking, mm. she love it when I do that. I'm like, let's she get the simmer. I'll be in there, sweat drip down her nose, so she could just so she could see <laughs> just so she could see it. I'm in there. I'm in there. Hey, listen, every every Friday or every other Friday, I'm in that restroom scrubbing. Yes. I'm like, I hope so my baby see this. But that's me now. Right. Back then, right, man, just not mature mm -hmm. um, in in the institution of marriage, and so. I'm just thinking about all of, I'm getting and I was missing the ball on that. Mm. And so I, I, I like you like he was saying, I don't think a lot of men sit down and say, "Am I fit for the institution of marriage?" And so I don't really I wouldn't have I won't subscribe. I won't tell many men to subscribe to to the lead attorney's way. Ooh, okay? No. <laughs> lead attorney was a divorce attorney for I think about 20 years. Mm. So what you think that he specialized in? Right. The divorces. Mm. So he talks about all the reasons why men should not get married. Mm. Okay. I believe, and especially, be, you know, as far as my faith goes, I believe that most men should be married. Mm. Well, why? Number one is I don't believe that mo most people have the gift of singleness. Okay. Like you don't have the gift of singleness where you're going to be able to be single and not go out and be smashing. Mm. Like that's just... It, you're going to be in sin constantly. Hmm. So it's better to be married than to burn with sin. And don't just go get married to anybody. But what I'm saying is you need to find the one. I believe that there is someone out there for everyone. Hmm. But a man does need to sit back and say, am I ready at this point in this time? Yeah. Um, I believe that I was ready at that point in that time for yeah. you, for marriage. Because right. as you even said, you knew that I was the type of man that you married. But I didn't really take as much time during our time before the ring went on to figure you out. Mm. And that was a lot because, unfortunately, prematurely jumping in the bed and all that and just being clouded in our heads and just not just sitting here and figuring out who are you emotionally, mm. okay? What do you really like physically, okay? Y'all will be surprised. <laughs> You'll be surprised if you really ask your wife, slow down. You may think... That you doing the best of the best in the bed, brothers. <laughs> they listen. You in there? She just acting like she climbing up the wall, ah, just screaming all crazy and, all. and listen. Put the kid to the kids to sleep. I'm so sorry, y'all. Y'all got your kids. <laughs> this is not the part for them because it's about to get real raw. Okay, listen. I, not, I'm gonna not put all. myself out there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put myself out there, babe. You ready to talk about this? I'm so scared. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. We pull up talking with the waybos. This is what y'all came here for. Listen, y'all, y'all want it. Y'all want us. Where hey, are you going? Y'all can listen to a different sermon. <laughs> I thought I was putting it down. Hmm. You was. Yeah, I was, babe. but I just I <laughs> I thought I was like. Just, just really, really putting it down. Mm -hmm. And I was just putting it down. Right. Okay, it's one thing to put it down, but it's one thing to make Snatch sure that your woman is coming to that to that point. Yeah. If y'all feel what I'm saying. I'm trying not to you get You just too, said it, literally. Yeah, coming to that point. Yes. And I wasn't making sure in all ways that you were doing that. You remember that conversation and how you yes. kind of brought that? Mm -hmm. How was that, babe? How did it feel to tell you, or how did it? Yeah, feel how did it? How did it feel to tell? It was like probably year two or so. Yeah, you know? it was very fresh, and um, I it, it wasn't that difficult. I feel yeah. like I brought it. I mean, you can say if I, if I didn't yeah. or not, but you, I feel like I brought it in a a decent way. I I mean, I think I just approached it as let me just right, let me just say this really quick. I'm mess, I mean, really quick. School to men, number one. I don't know why we getting here. I know. We just this is kind of a little down the alley from what we talking about. Jesus. But this is big, man, because y'all 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 want to make sure that she's pleased in all ways. And I, 
I can't even say that. I was but I know say, you. I know say you say orgasm and not be demonetized. I believe so. Okay, I cool. believe so. But I know that you know a lot of women, and yes. what have you heard from a lot of women? They are not having orgasms. Okay. They're the the the, the oral is not good. Mm. Fast pump pump done. Man. Listen up. So I want to say this. Married men. Um, yes. Listen up. I want to say, um, I, the last time I looked at the statistic, it was like 73% of married women are not reaching their an orgasm in wow. intimacy. Wow. There are women that I know that have not had an orgasm at all in marriage. There are women that I know <sighs> that have had orgasms a couple times in marriage. Um, and it was something that I began to kind of like, okay, maybe that isn't for us type of thing. Because it's like, yeah. it's so easy for a man to, like, if you yeah. just do it long enough, it's going to happen for you. Yeah. For us, it's a, it's a little bit of a skill. Um, and so after talking to many of wives, um, I'm like, okay, this just might be an L that I take. Like, it was great. Yeah. But I'm like, I wonder how it feels to just, like, actually... Go, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was going to say, now, to keep it clear, you had, had orgasms with it Correct. Just, it was just not as often Correct. As, you, as you felt like it should have been. Correct. Correct. So there are, this baby, because are you <laughs> sure? I'm like, so after having the conversation, though, um, and like thoroughly explaining exactly how um, even when it comes to like men and women, how we're set up, like y'all, if y'all get you know, ready, y'all ready. For women, it's, you know, y'all microwave or an oven. So you mm -hmm. got to preheat it. You got to yeah. warm it up. Warming it up for us might be, you know, earlier that day, you just, you've been kind to us. You've been, mm -hmm. like, the way to, like, I, I said this in my last video, the way to um, turn a man on is by respecting him and honoring mm -hmm. him. The way to do it for a woman is by helping her and nurturing her, making her feel loved and pouring into her. Yes. So it's just completely different, but it all leads up to the bedroom. Mm -hmm. But not even just that, like even men, the wives that I talked to, like the, it was hard for the women to talk to the men about like, hey, you ain't even on the right spot, buddy. You down there, you supposed to be up a little bit more. Yeah. You know, don't even know how to find it. You know, and yeah. so just like, I mean, we had very real where I was like, look, look at, let me show you something. This is where, yeah. let me show you this, like, and then yeah. do this with it and then do it like this. And so overall, though, um, it, it, it was a beautiful conversation because yeah. you were also able to, like, Y'all can think that your woman is good because she's like pleasing you and she good at head. She good at throwing it back. And she she's mm -hmm. but it's another level when you're blowing her mind. Not yes. not making her be an actress. When you're intimate, um, it's just a different layer. So yes, I, men from pornography to they daddy and they bros just hitting it from the back, doing it fast, and they think they tearing it up. And it's like, it's yep. not that when you get married. Yeah. Like, we got to switch it up. You got to get some position cards and some yeah. some play around and, and get some different stuff yeah. going on. And so, um, yes, that is yeah. a part of, I think, men going in just because they smashed all these chicks who all, everybody mm -hmm. lied. And it's also difficult. Yes. It's more difficult to please a one woman for the rest of your life than yeah. a, a thousand of chicks that won't even tell you the review of no, how, they won't ever tell you. how it actually went down. You, they won't ever tell you. You can be 10 inches doing it. Yes. I mean, like, you think you got all of it, but you can have the tools, but actually don't know how to utilize them. Real talk. Like, that's a real thing. And yeah. so... Listen to your wives and allow her to have the space to like yeah. show you and slow down. Slow down. That's probably the biggest part. Like yeah. just slowing down and not being selfish in, say, in yeah. intimacy. That's they like, it. They like it slow, like H Town said. I mean, not not always. It, no, not even just like d doing it slow, but oh. like like yeah. Just taking so your take time. Take your time, the foreplay. Yeah, the, for, talk the, to her. The, oh, yeah, everything that, that leads up to it. So I remember when you told me. That, hey, you could improve in this area on certain things. It, I was wrecked for a little bit there. You were. Like, it hit my pride, big time. But I, didn't but I was so glad that you told me, though, because for me, I like it to be real. Like, yes. I felt like even before then, like, I was like, hey, don't, don't fake nothing with me. I yeah. don't play that. Because I had already started doing my research. I knew that women, a lot of times, are, they do that. They fake orgasms. Most women do that, point blank, period. Um, and so I wanted to know. I wanted to be educated. I want to be... 
I want to have a doctorate on this body. You understand? So when yeah. you when you told me, I'm like, it hurt. It hurt me at first, but then I was like, all right, all right, let me let me switch this up. Let me get this. And things revved up and, and, and we're way better. And here's a big thing for most men Ooh. while we're on this. Um, and the reason why we own this again is because you, I want y'all to understand that you need to ask yourself, do I want to be married because you're laying down your life as a sacrifice for her? That's what the word says. Like, that's what us as husbands, what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to love her like Christ loved the church. Yes. And that's laying down our lives. That means that, okay, listen, you was with all these other women and maybe you was giving them orgasm. I'm going to say mostly y'all probably wasn't, but <laughs> maybe you was. Every single woman is different. The statistics say that it's not <laughs> That's happening. A lot. Yeah. Just so, saying. But so I'm saying that because every woman is different and you yeah. cannot play that game the same. No. Like she That's like, the same thing. And the, and the same for me. Yes. Like we yes. everyone is different. And yes. a lot of times men go from one to the other. Doing Still the trying to do stuff. the same thing you was doing on <laughs> Becky. You trying to right. do it to Jenny, and then yeah. you went from doing what you were doing move. to Jenny on the same. Mm -hmm. They're literally a different playbook for every single woman. Yes. And I did not realize that. Yeah. I had to really, you had to tap me in, help me understand that. And then I was educated and then things got a really, really, really amazing. Okay. Yes. So that was in one way that I had to learn like, okay, man, you got to sacrifice. You got to slow yourself down. You got to do this a little bit different. This is not, she don't like that. But and you so, benefited too. Oh, tremendously. Like greatly. Tremendous. Like it wasn't even just like. You're laying down your life and you're just about to please Because I get, me. I get all, uh, you know, uh, I, <laughs> I, I love pleasing you. That's to say that. Jesus, and that really is good. Where for, did this go? That is really good for me. <laughs> and it, it does something for me, man. And knowing yeah. that it really was real. Because yes. I, that's one thing I knew about my wife that I loved about her when I met her that also could kind of be something that's like, whew, she got to, she got to uh, give me a little bit of. Like grace when she's speaking it, yeah. love when she's speaking it, is that she does not, she's not gonna lie. She's a yeah. straight shooter. Okay. Um, and so <laughs> that's what I knew about. Let you. me say this. If you gotta ask your wife, did you reach? Yeah. She didn't. Yep. You're not gonna have to ask. Real talk. It's literally a Megan the Stallion uh lyric where she said, if you had to ask, like that it, it didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. You won't have to ask. Yeah. Oh no, I know that. You won't have to ask. Yep. Like it, it's not gonna be a, a, a insecure. Like it's gonna be like oh, I, yeah. I know exactly what yeah. happened and when it went down. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I know that we went down a different road of that, but that's just a part of the sacrifice, man. You know, I don't think a lot of brothers sit back and say, "Am I ready to sacrifice? Am I ready to sacrifice?" You know, giving up some of the times when I'm watching the game, mm. but she wants to. Go to the park with the kids. Okay. Like, that's happened. Yeah. Okay. And if you look further, if you go find this video, you'll see the lead say that that's some kind of like more simpish stuff or something. But <sighs> like, no, that's some real man stuff. That's what you got to do sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like, sometimes you got to be like, man, dang, the playoffs is on. But all right, man, what's more important? Yeah. What, what God says that she comes before everything. Yeah. Oh, well, my family want me to go to this barbecue or whatever. You and your family got a tradition of doing something for over a decade, but your wife want to go do something else. Who do you choose? Mm. Are you ready to lay that down? So single yeah. brothers, if you watching this, it may be some things you have to break. Oh, I've been best friends with this girl, the opposite sex for so long. Please. Okay. But <laughs> yo, yo soon to be wife ain't good with that. Not well, dang, I've been knowing her for over a decade and we ain't messed around, whatever. Mm -mm. Sorry, she don't like it. Are you ready <laughs> to lay that down? Are you ready to combine the finances? Yeah. For her to know what's in the account. You make more than her or whatever. And she gets to see what's going in there. She gets to see how you've been using that money to gamble on the side. Mm -hmm. How you using that money sure, to drink on the side and do all the other things that you do on the side. Are you ready to really give that up? I want you single brothers to sit down, step back, take a break. What I do agree with them on is that you need to do, have a time and say, man, am I really fit for this? Am I really ready for this? Because I heard someone say it like this. They said, you know, marriage is another tune. It's a tune. Like that person, like we celebrating and all, but that's the last time you're going to see that person like that. That may be the last time he can pick up your call the way he was picking up your call. That might be the last time he can come and play basketball with y'all when he was playing basketball. And I just want to say this because sometimes when we say this tune part, it seems sad. It mm -hmm. literally means 
It mm. literally means you're dying to your single self. Yeah. Not like it, marriage is death. No, and like, no, no, no. You're yeah. dying you, and, and it's getting bad. Like, no, yeah, it yeah. literally means you're dying to your single ways. Yeah. So when the Bible talks about when, when you get married and you become one flesh, I don't think as Takesha, the single woman, Namdi doesn't think as, as Namdi as the single man. Yeah. We think as the Uables, you know yeah. what? We think as Whoa. Namdi and TK. So yeah. I can't just dip out and go to brunch and not talk to you about it. I can't yeah. just pop up and there's certain things that, and then also yeah. you're building something new. Yeah. Like you're building a new foundation for your legacy as you and your wife. So I just want to make that clear. Also when, when he says that, cause we, we say that like it's a tomb when you have kids was well, a tomb when you have kids because you can't just go to Waffle House at 3 a.m. Yeah. You got a newborn. Yeah. You got a school it's a, it's, in the morning. New, yeah, so it's a rebirth. It's, it's a, a rebirth. Rebirthing. It's a old, it's a what I mean by that is just it's, it's a tomb of your old self. And yes. It's a new it's a new version you're going to have to introduce to your people. Yes. Like I had people who like I had family members that was like you changed since you got married. And, and they and they look they look at her like she's a problem when she's mm. not the problem. Yeah. Okay. She's, she's everything good. Been the best thing that's happened to me next to Christ. Okay. But guess what? I have to reintroduce myself to them. Right. And say, yeah, I'm sorry. Cause I can't, I can't do that. How that's, we used to, we, yeah, I can't go there. Like how we, I can't, Get with you every time. That's also on this Christian time. belief. That's our yeah, beliefs, though. That's our beliefs. Like yeah. if if people aren't anchored in the word, they don't know what that means. Yeah, it's yeah. like that's why y'all see men get married, or y'all see couples get married, and the wife be at church and the dude at home, or you know, like it, it, the the you never yeah. see the wife and the dude is all, like yeah, yeah because y'all didn't set that that from jump like it's us yeah. It's not, you don't just continue to go to that church. That's, yeah, that's, that's, a, whole that's a whole nother like, why situation. Why y'all be okay with that? That's, that's Under a little different. Under two different teachings, two different doctrines, two different crazy. But yeah, yeah y'all going to be going two different ways. Absolutely. <laughs> I've never seen it work out. Yeah, that, that it really has worked out like that. So I just think that a lot of brothers should lean into what he said on this. Hey, take your time. Go on your trip. Go to dinner, whatever, by yourself. Sit there. Really say, am I am I ready to really jump into this? Am I really ready for this old side of me to die? Because you're going, you're going to have to run into doing a little bit of compromising. It will be way worth it, though. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, those first couple of years, whatever, it was a little, it was tough. But, but that's normal. It was tough. To it was, merge. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Um, and it was tough, tougher on us because it was some more things that we just hadn't covered. Yeah. So we just want to make sure, like, hey, I, I hope someone is looking at this that's that's single. Um, that's engaged and really you take a step back and say, am I really ready to go down that road? Um, I'm going to tell you it's a challenge, but on the, it, it could be a challenge, but on the other side of that, it's some big time blessings. And when they say that he who finds a wife finds favor, my God, I found so much favor with this woman right here. Mm. So I tell you right now, it is worth the sacrifice. You just may have to tell some people, Hey, uh, this is the way I move now. This is where I go now. Uh, let me check with the wife now. And you got to have some people not going to understand that. And you got to be good with that. And y'all go and y'all build y'all new community or mm -hmm. y'all y'all new life around y'all's marriage. So I just want to say this too, really quick, um, really quick to go back on the sex talk. <laughs> As I just want to challenge the husbands, y'all know I don't be talking to y'all because I, I, you know, husbands don't. On be, the SCX talk. You know, the husbands don't like listening to wives, and we don't want to hear what y'all yeah. complaining about or anything. But I just want to encourage you, um, married, of course, new marriage, old marriage, and y'all, you think you got a system going with your wife, and y'all getting it in often as you should. I just really, 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 really want you to create. A night after the kid goes to sleep. I don't know why I'm mm -hmm. seeing this. As the kids go to sleep, like get, go to Walmart, you know, discreetly if you can. Get some candles and just talk to your wife. Mm -hmm. Just ask her like, "Hey, babe, um, I just want to know, like, is is there something more you want to do? Is there anything else that I can do? Do you do you need more foreplay? Do you need me to kiss you more? Like, what is what is, is there anything missing?" And I just want to say this, if your wife loves you, she might lie a little bit in the beginning. If she might go through the, no, everything is great. Everything is fine. And it's like, I need you to lay down any pride and just say, no, baby, I, I really want to know anything. Do you need, 
could because most time it's more foreplay. Most time it's, you know, candles, rose petals, mm. music. Obviously, we know in all cases these these things won't happen. But you just just give yourself a night to explore her mind. Yes. Intimately. Give your give yourself to lay down your pride, lay down whatever you thought you can go in, because I promise you might be surprised and mess around and reach a newer height in intimacy with your spouse. So, ladies, if you're watching this, don't lie to him. Man. Gracefully, gracefully share with him whatever you want. If it's like, yes, baby, I need more of this. I would like this. Hey, I kind of like this. Can you do this? Gracefully tell him, husbands, lay down your pride, receive it, and just expect for God to like blow that thing up. Yes. Because when you really allow transparency, grace, and love in a in in the bedroom, it yeah. It, it goes there. So I just want to challenge the husbands. Go mm-hmm. One night, just light some candles. Mm-hmm. Like, just set the atmosphere to prepare to receive whatever she has for you so y'all can enhance your intimate life. Yes, yes. Hey, man, listen. She just dropped some major keys for you married brothers. Are you soon to be married brothers? Man, and for you, you to aspire to be married. She just dropped it big there. So, hey, what do y'all think about this subject? You, you know, do you agree with the lead? You need to take some time away. Men need to really take time to really think about are they fit for the institution of marriage? Uh, I would love to know what y'all think. Drop that in the comments below. Mm-hmm. Switching gears here. Yes. Kind of in the same field here. And this is not this is not on purpose, actually. So last week, my wife asked me, yeah. what are three basic traits that you know he is not ready for mm-hmm. marriage? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to ask you today, babe. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to flip this thing here. So. Babe, what's three basic traits that these men need to know that shows she is not ready for marriage? I probably had 10 things, so it's kind of difficult Ooh. for me to come down to three because I feel like the it's like 10 heavy red flags. Like mm. some some heavy ones where it's like, ooh, leave baby girl alone. Yeah, I don't care how cute three. she is. I don't care how big her booty is. Leave her alone. Yeah. But um, the first one is the lack of self-awareness. Um, this is a woman you want to avoid. This is a woman that you do not want to pursue. If she does not know herself, not just the good things, not just how good of a cook she is and how intelligent she is and her ability to be a mom and clean mm-hmm. the house, and but like the ugly side. Oh, but I also uh, know that I'm very selfish. Mm-hmm. I also know that I can be moody. Mm-hmm. I also know that I have an issue with lying. I also know that I have an issue with drinking. I battle with depression. Like if she lacks self-awareness, because one thing that I hate to say, um, but I've realized because I am a woman um, and I was a little bit of this as well, if not a lot of it is delusional. Yeah. Um, you know, the world is the world teaches us that we're the prize. And so mm. it's like, it don't matter how bad of an attitude you got, how, you know, unkept you are how you haven't touched trauma you haven't talked about nothing mm-hmm. you haven't owned that you made mm-hmm. your own but it don't matter you're you're a prize baby girl you better let that man know he better put a ring on it you've mm-hmm. been throwing it back all for 17 years you bet he better Jesus. marry you like we have this yeah. culture of delu- like it's delusional yeah. it's literally delusional and for y'all it's like if y'all ain't providing if y'all ain't mm-hmm. doing certain things you know you're not a good man yeah. But for us, it is a culture in a way about us that's like, it don't matter what we do. Are we pretty? Boom, we're a wife. Mm-hmm. So like, no, of get make sure you are, if you are dating a woman that she knows herself and that she is full of self-awareness. And yeah. I'm going in with you because I was young, I will blame that because mm-hmm. I don't want to just blame it on the, you know, yeah. that I was just completely delusional. Yeah. But I was very young. But mm-hmm. you made me aware of stuff like, and you would tell me like, baby, this, you mm-hmm. kind of struggle with like knowing yourself a little bit. Like, yeah. no, you, you don't close the door when you do that. And it's like, yes, I do. I know mm-hmm. I close the door and it's like, <laughs> dang, I don't be closing that door yeah. and then owning it. And it feels better. Like, sis, if you're watching this and there's parts of you that you're, you're trying to cover and, and come off as perfect. I promise it's more attractive just to know yourself. Yeah. I promise it's more, I promise it's more attractive just to be transparent about it yeah. because you can't even work on it. If you don't recognize it, yeah. you can't even work on it if you don't mm-hmm. identify it. So that's number one. Number- to, and, and I'll say just to say this, 
one of the most attractive things about you was when I did help you to recognize those things that you you did not see or you didn't really you didn't really realize about yourself. You took ownership. Yeah. You took ownership and you was willing to work on those things and and I, I gave grace for that because I'm like, man, that's that's cool. Or you would apologize for doing yes. those things. I'll tell you now, if, for men, I, I came before this. I was I was in a relationship, um, you know, where uh, the person was not they, sorry, owning up to a mistake. Probably happened within some years. I could count on my hand yeah. how many times that happened. And I knew if this person is con isn't convicted in a single life, mm -hmm. what made me think that they're gonna be convicted in a married life? Yeah. So you need to watch that. If she can never say she's sorry, or dang, my, my bad, I, I I struggle with yeah whatever leaving stuff out, or I struggle with whatever like kind of talking bad sometimes. Forgive me for how I said that to you. If yeah. she can't do a lot of that, there should be a lot of. You know, apologizing because we all have our shortcomings. Yes, yes. So if if she can't do that, bro, yeah, leave her alone. She's too delusional. Yeah. She's not. She's it's not. A real she's thing. not gonna change. It's a real thing. It's like yeah. we be delusional. It, it's it's something that I realized when I talk to single women. I'm like, yeah, you are not a catch. <laughs> At least not right now. Yeah. Like, and don't lie to yourself. Like, you know, you so, need to get that together. Yeah. That's that's a big issue. You Real know. Talk. Okay. Talk so talk. number two. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, they they didn't look like me for this. Why did you ask Keep ask me this type of question? Jesus, um, super duper thirsty for marriage. Mm. This is a woman that I think is not ready for marriage. Yeah. Someone that is extra thirsty for the wedding, yeah. for the dress, for the ideal, <sighs> for the uh, you know what I'm saying? Just the whole like, I just want to be a wife. I just I feel like God is just calling, and He could be, but being um. Being thirsty for marriage, for me, in my experience, oh, I haven't experienced this because I, mm -hmm. when I say I was doing my thing and Nami came along and I was like, oh, okay, sure, you know, but I was definitely not thirsty mm -hmm. for it. Um, but what I see, the danger with these type of women, even mm -hmm. God-fearing women, mm -hmm. because they're so thirsty for marriage, most times marriage is, their, is an idol for them, mm -hmm. which in turn makes their husband an idol. Ooh. These women who are believers that I saw think and as I'm explaining this, you'll probably see peep some yeah, people yeah. active in the church, active in ministry, actively just God this, God mm -hmm. that in love, get married, disappear. Get married, ain't walking it out no more. Get yeah. married, don't talk. I mean, just all about my man, my man, what my happened? man. You don't carry the and let me say thank you, Holy Spirit. The reason why that's because I know some a man is watching like, shoot, I don't care if it's all about me. The beauty of having a woman that ain't thirsty for marriage, like she's she's ready for it, is that she also knows who she is. If mm -hmm. and she knows the wisdom that she carries, mm -hmm. she knows that you also need me. You also need the wisdom that's in me. You also need the revelation that I have. And so you, if you marry a woman that's so thirsty for marriage, which can become an idol and you can become an idol, you actually won't be able to benefit what the word says, which is favor when you find us yeah. because she's made you her God. You, can't nobody else sit on the throne. And so God's like, okay, if you want him to sit on the throne, let him bless you with favor. Let him give you the wisdom. Let your man, you know, so you, you end up putting it all on that man. So I think yeah. being super thirsty, and that also means that she might marry any man that just comes and says, marry Anything. me. God told, God told me, God told me, you're me my a husband. dream that you, was, that you was my wife. God gave just, me a dream. You're my wife. Boom. I do. Two seconds. Yes. Like, what? Because you're so thirsty. You, you, you not inspecting anything. You don't, yeah. you know, so I, th I think that's a thing to run away from. I don't know if you yeah, want to add I mean, to it. Yeah, just, I think sometimes people just believe that just from what they see they they want to be on that side and they realize once they get there is not what they thought, Man. like, because they made this big idea of it. It's kind of like what a lot of times I hear millionaires <laughs> Mm. talk about to uh, those of us who are not millionaires like right. hey i know y'all see all this but enjoy yourself where y'all at in mm. the process yeah because once you get here it's not all built up to what you may think it is and yeah. i'm not saying it is not great yes. just like millionaires aren't telling us no they're not telling yeah. us don't get rich they saying get your but money. make sure you get your priorities straight yeah 
because you'll make an idol of the money that yes. you're going after. And not your purpose. Yeah, not your real purpose. And that's why people and change. And that's why you money. see people change or they mm -hmm. end up suicide, yes. all of that, because yes. they thought that this was going to solve yes. all of their problems. Marriage will not solve your problems. Man. Solve your problems before you get to marriage because marriage won't do nothing but inflate those problems. Yes, I've seen real talk. I've seen women talk about marriage every day on social media, get married and be divorced in like three months. Real talk. You know, so it's a, it's a danger. It's a danger yeah. in being that thirsty Man, for marriage. We've seen some stuff. We we like y'all y'all don't know. You y'all must not realize that when you get married, the enemy is on your head. On your head. Y'all don't realize Every that that comes with another level of demonic attack. Y'all don't like I said in the video. Like it's a war on marriage. It's really a war. Like he rather you stay single and be slipping up every once in a while. Like go ahead and step in that thing. Yeah. Go ahead and step in it prematurely, not knowing what you're stepping into. And so yeah. it's it's just a big red flag in my opinion because I I've seen these type of women make their husbands and make marriage an idol to the point that marriage was an idol. That's all they talked about. They can get married and be deeply struggling, but will be mm. silent because they're, they're protecting an image yep. that they've built up for so long, oh, or they'll prematurely become marital counselors. Yep. Like it's yeah. just, it's a disaster. Yeah. So yeah. men, I, I know y'all don't be super thirsty for marriage. Like women do. It, it's, it's a sign that she's not ready. It's, it is an immature sign that she is not ready. Okay. It's still said me, that huh? very well. <laughs> Number three. Combative and uncooperative, mm. difficult to deal with. Um, mm. I think this kind of goes, huh? What do you mean combative? Combative or, just uh, she 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 lacks the skill or the ability to follow. Mm. She, I mean, I I don't want to say this word. I don't want to say this word, but you know, we're talking about our alpha women. Mm. We're talking about women that are leaders, that are confident, that know mm. who they are. Um, but they have not developed the skill of knowing when to submit, knowing when mm -hmm. in, in the context of marriage that yeah. I might be dope, fly, alpha leader. Yeah. I might have businesses. But when it comes to me and my man, yeah. I, I trust his opinion. I'm going to follow yeah. what you say. And so I think it's a red flag if she's not even doing that. And I talked about this in my yeah. last video in her singleness. Mm -hmm. You're probably like, well, how can a woman be submissive or or practice um, being cooperative while single. How does she behave with authority? Yeah. How is she with her boss? How is she yeah. with her manager? How is she with her pastor? How is she with her praise leader? Mm -hmm. Is she combative? If combative, if is everything um, is her opinion always better than everyone else's? Is it all is it mm -hmm. always her way or the highway? Is is what everyone else saying stupid and and it don't make no sense? And I I have the the idea. This is mm -hmm. a red flag. It is a I don't know why I'm saying red flag because that's not a part of this video, but mm -hmm. it is a sign one of a one of the signs that she's not ready. Um, obviously I just want to say this, all of these things can be, you can grow through them, yeah. um, but you have to identify them. Just, yes. I want to say that really quick because yes. I, I might've been all three of That's these That's why things, marriage counseling is so imperative. Like you gotta have that happen. Yes. You gotta have in, in good, thorough. Yes. Somebody, that ain't gonna I heard cut. somebody, yeah, I heard somebody <laughs> say it like this. Um, I think it was Tim Ross who said, he said, when I, when I put y'all in counseling, I'm trying to break it up. I'm trying to. Like I'm, I'm trying to see like really where's the gap, mm. and like because we not about. I was like, like this break it real. up. Like he's like yeah, he's like I think it's not still separate point. them. Like he's like I'm trying to see what well what is uncover, what exactly, but not make them get a divorce. No, he said before. Like I'm trying to. Oh, I'm trying to okay, get to okay. it before we get there. Okay, like premarital. I think he said something like that. Don't, don't quote me on it, but premarital yeah, counseling. Premarital counseling. Yes. That's what I was talking about. I'm sorry. Did yeah, I say, no, okay, you said here. I'm like, no, no, oh, premarital daddy. counseling. Like, yeah, you you want something that somebody that's thoroughly going to go through some yes. of these things oh, and say, Lord. ooh, that right there. Oh, <laughs> are you going to be able to? Are you going to be able to work through that? Yeah, like in. Let's let's or we need to hey let's Stop. let's push back the date. My God, you know what I'm saying? Yes, don't do it. Yeah, don't whatever. <laughs> push all. back the date or whatever, yeah. be because of that. And so yeah, yeah. So right. yeah, overall, just a, a woman that can't cooperate, a woman that doesn't have the ability to shut up. Sometimes I hate to use the word. Be quiet. <laughs> be quiet sometimes. Just be like, all right, cool. That Nip sounds snack. like a the neps the neck snapper. Yeah, the, just, just always just yeah this. Uh, I, what they ooh, do? Just you, just you, just be ready to go. Just be ready to pop off. Yeah, like, I, I, like combative. Yeah, very com combative. Combative. Uh, it's not a. 
I was ready. I was ready. Hey, listen. I was ready to switch teams. Y'all, y'all might have seen one of my old videos. I was ready to switch <laughs> oh teams. I mean, Before before me. I'm, yeah, when I met her, I said, What's, listen. Wait, so don't say switch teams, baby. Not, not, Clearly say what that is. Yeah, so what I'm, yeah, I was about to, about to state that. Okay, because switch re- teams I, sounds crazy. No. No, nothing crazy. No, no, no. Yeah, pause. I was going to switch pause, teams, Pause, pause. Yeah, he ain't on that. Oh what I'm talking about is I was going to I was gonna be looking for me, and, and nothing against this. Listen, we, for all we love cultures, yes. I predominantly, you know, for my wife, just, just always loved black women. That's all I ever was with. I was mm-hmm. going to just try to get it with a white woman. Yeah, because they of... Because they seem more just submissive, and I would see them like, when I saw them like in a store or something, I seen like I worked in a retail store, and so when a black dude be talk, okay, babe, yeah, I'm oh, sure. Like yeah. I, I, I never heard like too many a, a brother that was dating a, a, a white girl, his girl giving him like too many issues. Like yeah. I remember one of my homeboys, I uh, her name nameless, but he 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 got a, a, a you know he's he's married to his girl now, but like she was cool on everything. That's like problem. everything he said. I, it might have seemed like a problem, but it, they didn't get into these combative arguments yes, all the time. And I, I through my twenties, that's why we talked about it before. When I got to you, I didn't. Well, I was done with art. Yeah, you told me you was like, I'm about to get a white girl. I was like, listen, no, sir. I ain't. What, what is it? You mad? Okay, you, you done? You finished yet? Yeah. I ain't got no argument left. In me. I was so yeah. done with arguing and yeah. going at it, and somebody that's combative that can't sit back and listen and say. Maybe what he's saying is actually right. Yeah, critical thinking, self awareness. Yeah, if it self-aware. all, all it of falls it goes in, together. All, yeah, it falls yeah. in all of it. Like being able to just sit back and be like, "Dang, that's true." And a lot of a lot of arguments can be avoided if a woman knows herself. Like if you yeah. go to her about something, she's like, "Dang, I know that's me." Yep, that's it. Nothing to argue yep. about. Like you, yep. uh, you said with, you know, you said something that I already know. But even speaking about like white women, how why black men go to white women again? It's a cultural, it's a culture, it's a culture thing. thing. Like we didn't see conversations, you know, um, conclude in a great way. Like mm-hmm. where the man came home and was like, "Babe, I, I, we're gonna da 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 da." Okay, but that sounds like a great. Idea. We didn't yeah, see that. Seen a lot of hostility. Yeah, they seen hot. They saw their. They they heard they mom on the phone. Girl, Tyrone had the nerd. I told that Negro he better kick yeah. rocks. <laughs> I get back in my. You know, like yeah. that's what they heard. So that's a lot of times all that that we know. But again, yeah. uh, these things can be. You can grow in them. You can grow through them and pass them. Yeah. But if she is combative, Ooh. if she is. She doesn't know how to cooperate and just go along with your plan, how to just say yes sometimes, how to just be quiet sometimes, how to just yeah. trust sometimes. This is also a woman that probably isn't ready. And you can see this by how she talks about authority, yeah. how she says, we don't know nothing. I told my boss the other. You can hear it in her conversation. Yeah. So overall, yeah, just to run through them again. Yes. Number one is, is it delusional? Oh, lack of self. Yeah, Mm -hmm. that too. Lack of self awareness. A woman that does not know herself. I promise it's a train wreck waiting waiting to happen. Mm -hmm. Number two, incredibly thirsty for marriage because she'll make an idol. um, She'll make marriage an idol. And then number three, combative. This is a woman that will not be able to submit to you. Woo. She gave y'all some haters. Listen, Mm -hmm. fellas, that should be very, very helpful. Hey, Anything else? Any other ladies? Y'all want to add that? Any other married ladies out there that want to add something to that list? Yeah. We would love for y'all to comment below. Brothers, y'all got something else y'all want to add? Comment below. I believe she <laughs> just gave y'all the the good three three of them blueprint, which you can go off of right now to see if she is not the one you need to be looking at marriage with. Yep. Well, mm. that concludes everything. It does. Yes, listen. Yes. Um, it's been amazing. Just Always talking through things, doing this with you, babe. Yes. Uh, I love, love doing this, man. Uh, we we love all of your support. If you could do us a huge, huge, huge favor, listen. We are also on your on podcast yes. with Spotify, Apple. Do us a favor. Go over there. Leave a five star review. If it ain't five star, don't leave it. All right. <laughs> but please do that. Also, I'm gonna do what my baby usually tell y'all to do. Can y'all please like, oh, subscribe. Yeah. Do, do that for us. Please. What is it? What it does is it pushes us up the algorithm. Yes. Why do we want to be pushed up the algorithm? Because kingdom needs to be on top. Amen. Not all of the mess and the trash. Please do that for us right now. Yes. It don't cost you anything. <clears throat> Please do that. And lastly, because she probably not going to say it, so I'm going to say it. My girl, she got a free <laughs> ebook. Yes. Every single lady that's watching this. Yes. Every single lady. You should go right now. To the description below. Yeah. Make sure 
you get her new ebook. I am so excited for it. I am so proud of her. And she has so many other things in yes, store. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. Anything else to add to that? No, that's all. Listen, y'all stay tapped in. It only gets better again. Um, we're going to have some upcoming opportunities just for y'all to continue to help kingdom, help yes. the body, help just good stuff be in the algorithm, be in the culture. We're pushing like the wait. We have way bigger plans outside of YouTube. Like yeah. we're we're really trying to make the world shake with really? with who Jesus is and how he can uh, positively impact every part of our life. Amen. Finances, marriage, yes. how to parent, how to have friendships, community, everything. Um, and it needs to be heard. And so, if you want to be a part of that, for now, all listen. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe. That's yeah. it. We love y'all. Also, yes. follow us on all social media, yes. and we will see y'all. On the next Pillow Talking with the UA Woos. Peace. Bye, y'all. Hey, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you could do us a huge favor, please hit that like button and please subscribe. Yes, and please do not forget to hit that notification bell. We need y'all to be locked in every single time we drop this fire content. Yes. Also, we need y'all to follow us on all social media platforms at the Ewebus. And look, we will see y'all on the next video. Holla. <laughs>